What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Coach Joe here with Heartletics.com. And today, we're going to be talking all about taking ownership of your life. And I'm going to be applying today's episode with a little bit about me, right, in terms of being a CEO of Heartletics. So walk you guys through like what it's like being a business owner, uh, but also implementing that so you can take ownership over your life and be the CEO of your life. And there's some amazing things that happen when you are the CEO of your life and you take full ownership, you take full control over that. But before we get to that, right, let me first give you guys the background. Most of you guys know the story of Heartletics, just in case you don't. Um, the first year into you know starting Heartletics, I lost close to about $50,000 just trying to do everything on my own run Facebook ads on my own, do different marketing strategies on my own, uh, different investment strategies, you know, obviously like website design, all this stuff, you know, that was literally all unnecessary and trying to do it on my own. I lost a lot of money. The second year, um, still once again, had that ego in me. Hey, I can do this all by myself, right? I don't need help. And I lost about $30,000. Uh, the third year, this is where I broke even. It was like a plus or minus of maybe like $5,000, you know? Um, I don't remember the specific numbers. I just remember that at the end of the day, my accountant at the time, my, my first accountant, told me, he's like, hey, Joe, this is the third year that you're in the red with your business. I think it's time that you hang it up. Um, you know, you got a family, you know, to support. You know, I think it's time that you just, you know, kind of, you know, shift your direction somewhere else. Start thinking more in terms of, you know, for the future. Something that's a little bit more, you know, uh, better for your family long term. And um, uh, two weeks after that, I fired him. <laughs> and because uh, I, I, I went all in, right? I went in, all in with Heartletics because I, I firmly believed it. And even though I'm like wasting away like my life savings and everything like this. And at the time also, like it wasn't so bad. I don't want you guys to think like I'm like like eating like next to nothing and starving all day because I'm wasting all this way money away with my business. At the time, right, Heartletics, when I first got started, hey, I was still working, right, a, a regular nine to five job. I was doing Heartletics on the side. I turned my side hustle into my full-time hustle, so to speak, right? But that third year, you know, when my accountant told me, hey, it's time you, you know, you decide to focus on the family, maybe put Heartletics to the side and, and do something else, right, that's more profitable. Um, I'm like, no, I'm not doing this, right? So I decided to fire my accountant, um, hired a new one who's amazing, by the way, and um, decide to take like my last little bit of savings that I did have left, right, and put that into a business coach, a business coach that randomly messaged me on Instagram one day. And, you know, reached out to me and set up a call with him. And next thing you know, I, I was very scared, very skeptical, very, very like I, I get it when guys see my Facebook ad and, you know, the free fat loss guide and then they opt in and they start messaging me and my CRM system. I understand what it's like from their shoes because I was in their shoes also. Right. I'm a, I'm a human being, guys. I, I get it. I, I understand. Right. And um, yeah, it was very nerve wracking for me, but I decided to take my last ten thousand dollars in savings invested into this business coach and he really helped me uh, just teach me how to run a successful business and uh, ever since then I was able to scale it and continue to just grow 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 to where we are today to where I've been doing this for several years now full-time I don't work anymore in corporate America anymore um, doing this full-time and I have multiple employees that work for me multiple coaches and it's fun right but at the end of the day like there's a lot of struggle that I had to go through. I still go through some struggles today, just being completely honest with you guys. Everybody does in terms of business and life. But I want you guys to understand this. The sacrifice, the discipline that I put into Heartletics in the you know first early years, uh, that's the same mentality that you guys need to have within your own life. I want you to be the CEO of your life. I'm not making today's episode to tell you to go start a business. You know, like, no, and even if you did, I would support you on that. I'm telling you to take ownership over your life. See, at the end of the day, I was that guy that was, you know, had my ego up there and said, hey, I don't need a business coach. I can do this all on my own. And I was just wasting away money, plain and simple. But what I regret wasn't wasting away the money. What I regret was wasting away the time because time is the most precious commodity here on earth. You can't regain that back. 
And second, I think about all the lives that I missed out on helping and transforming because I did not know how to market me, you know, the business. I did not know how to run a successful business. And so I just think about it, man, like I miss out on a lot of people's lives that I could have really had an impact on, you know, those are the biggest things of the regret, not the money. And you need to take full advantage of becoming the CEO of your life. But sometimes, right, you're, you're putting yourself in your own way. Maybe you heard that before. Like you get your, you know, you put yourself in your own, you know, way and like you, you can't get past, you know, that breaking point. A lot of you guys are like that on your health and fitness journey where just like me with my business, right? I had this ego where I think I could do it all. It wasn't until I was open-minded, even though I was scared, skeptical, right? At first, just like anybody would be handing somebody that they don't know that they met off the internet their money. I still had to take that leap forward, right? And it turned out to be a huge ROI, right? It turned out to be one of the best things in the world uh, for me and for my family, you know, to where I can do this and, you know, have the, the impact that I'm having right now in people's lives, which is truly amazing, right? I'm so blessed and grateful for Heartletics, but I had to take ownership, right? I had to realistically uh, take a step back as I'm going through the grind of, you know, working this nine to five in corporate America and at the same time doing Heartletics on the side and like literally year after year losing, right? In the red, money, 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 dumping it into it and not having any success. I had to really take a step back. And that was where I had to take ownership and just kind of ask myself and just say, okay, what am I doing here? You know, like it's not working. It hasn't been working. I need to change things up. Albert Einstein said it best. The definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results. I needed different results, but I had this blinder on, right? Where I couldn't see the end of the tunnel because I had this ego in the way where I'm like, hey, I don't need help. I can do this all by myself. And it ended up costing me, once again, a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of regret. I don't want you guys making the same regret right? I want you to become the CEO of your life, okay? Now, here's the thing. The CEO, right, Joe, that you're hearing about today, like, I don't also want you to think like, oh, man, it's uh, sunshine and and roses and and life's great, you know, now that I'm doing this full time and I have all these coaches and employees that work for me, there's still days where I struggle, right? But regardless, and I always like to say like this, when you get to a certain point in your business, Every day is more about just like putting out small little fires. You don't know what kind of fires exist, right? It could be uh, something on the team, uh, something with the clients, something with the marketing, something with the ads. There's always something, right? But it's just, hey, each and every day is a battle, right? There's small little fires and you're just focusing on putting them out. That's realistically what it's like when you get to a certain threshold as a CEO in your business, you know, and then you just look for ways to be more creative to optimize things and scale it and get to that certain next threshold. And every next threshold, right, certain levels are going to require certain devils, right? It's like playing a video game here, right? Like there's different bosses. Every time you level up, it gets harder and harder and harder. I want you guys to have that same mentality, right? Now, right now with your fitness journey, because if you have that same mentality as if you're the CEO of your life, right? Remember, if you want to go start your business, hats off to you. Go do it, right? You you will learn a lot. Trust me. You'll get some thick skin. <laughs> that is for sure. Um, but you got to learn how to take full advantage and ownership and be the CEO of your life. So with most of you guys, hey, you want to lose some weight. You want to burn some body fat. That's great. Hats off to you. But understand this, right? I'm telling you this story so that way you don't make the same mistakes that I was making. I had my ego get in the way because I wasn't open-minded. I, I, I literally thought I could do it all by myself and that cost me a lot. Some of you guys on your health and fitness journey are still playing like, man, I got this ego, right? I'm just going to go back to cutting out carbs. I'm going to go back to doing all this cardio. I'm just going to go back to this training routine or go back to this you know, different thing that You already tried before in the past and it did not work. Don't be like me back when I got started off, right? And try to do everything on your own because it's going to cost you a lot more in the end. And remember, the money, that was just one side of the fact, right? That it cost me. It was the time that I couldn't get back anymore. It was all the people's lives that I missed out on changing, you know? 
Obviously, you learn through that. You grow from that. But if, if, if let's say, you know, here I am and coming up to year seven in running Heartletics, and I was still trying to do it all by myself, all by myself, all by myself, right? And still applying the same things that I was doing back when I first got started in business. Guess what? Heartletics would not be where it is today. And so uh, at that time, I couldn't see the vision of Heartletics. And maybe right now in your life, you can't see what it's like getting off your blood pressure meds or cholesterol meds or reversing your type 2 diabetes. You can't see what it's like you know, having six-pack abs. You can't see what it's like having more energy to play with your kids, right? It might be such a huge goal as far out there, you might not be able to see that. But here's the thing. When you decide to be open-minded and decide to, you know, uh, get rid of this ego that's just stopping you, just like how it was stopping me, the vision gets very clear. And the vision is always going to change. You know, when I first got started off with Heartletics, I just wanted to make enough money to do this full time to replace my nine to five. And then that happened. And now I'm like, okay, cool. Now what's the next steps? Well, hey, I'm doing literally everything under the sun with Heartletics, burning myself out, even though I'm doing this full time. I still am not having much time to spend with my family. So now I want to hire in more people, right? To help me scale this business so I can have more time back, right? Pay more people, right? To help me do different things and delegate. And then I found out that the people that I was hiring, they did a better job at running Heartletics, right? Like Katrina making the meal plans, way better job than I could ever do. Coach Brian doing the weekly check-ins, way better job than I can ever do right? Coach Mark with the support, way better job than I could ever do, right? It's just like you you, you, you you start to really think, right? Because you took that leap forward. And at that time, right? I'm like, oh, I just want to quit my nine to five, do this full time. I'm always thinking in the back of my head, well, if I put somebody in this role, like they're not going to be like me. They're not going to be as good as me. And here's the thing. They're better than me, but I didn't see that at first because I had that ego, you have to have some kind of trust. You have to have some kind of faith. And so it wasn't until I realized here, like, hey, you just got to be open-minded in life. Like, that's the key to success. And once you're open-minded, you're not really having that doubt. You're not really having that fear. You're just kind of having fun with it at this point. And then once again, as you progress more levels, equal more devils, right? You're putting out more fires. You just learn how to handle that, right? You learn how to handle that fire, you know, each and every day when it comes and it's going to happen. And now put the same thing in terms of your health and fitness journey, okay? Because right now the the, the, the vision has changed, right? I wanted to start Heartletics to just quit my nine to five. And then I want to, you know, obviously hire more people so I can have more time for the family. And now, hey, I want to hire more people so I can just have a bigger impact where I don't even care about the money because to me, it's all about the impact over the income. I want to change the world. I want to make a better place. I want to leave a legacy. I want so when I die, Heartletics is still thriving for decades and decades and decades to come, you know? And I'm sure in the next 5, 10, 15 years, the vision is going to change again, right? I I think long-term effect, like Heartletics is either going to partner up with a mental health organization or start some kind of mental health organization where we're donating, right? We're, We're giving back to charity, different things like that. Like I can see that happening because... We focus so much on the mindset and mental health for men. Like you mix that with fat loss and personalized coaching. It's a win-win for success for anybody, you know, and that's what we specialize in. And so I would love to eventually get to company to where I'm doing something like that, you know, and, and like I said, the vision might change, right? I can't see that, right? But I'll tell you what, it's a lot more clearer now than when I have this ego in the way and I have these blinders thinking I know all the answers, thinking I can do this all on my own. And you guys, right, put yourself in your CEO of your life now with in terms of your health and fitness goals. You might just want to lose some weight and that's fine. But realize here, like don't continue to make the same mistakes that you haven't had any success with before in the past. Do something different. Take that risk. Be open-minded, right? Like I would say like this at Heartletics, we have a free fat loss guide going over our seven essential fat loss habits for success. Anybody can do those habits and have massive amounts of success on their fat loss journey. We have a free coaching video that goes over a literally step-by-step plan on how to adapt those habits into anybody's lifestyle. That once again, 
as long as you're open-minded, you just follow through and do it, you will have success. But you guys right now have these blinders, right? The ego. And you need to understand that the minute you're open-minded, the minute you, you know, uh, you know, get rid of that, the ego, it's going to be a lot more clear. You're going to be a lot more willing to get the help and most importantly, get the help that you probably need and deserve for you and for your family. And then eventually, hey, guess what? You're going to lose some weight and then the goals, the vision might change just like how for me being the CEO of Heartletics, the goals, the vision has changed to where I want to make this, you know, huge impact in the world and change the world to make it a better place to live in for my son, right? And leave a legacy, right? And have Heartletics to live on for decades and decades and decades to come. And so with you guys, hey, you might want to lose some weight and then all of a sudden, boom, you lost some weight, which is great. Change the goals, right? And as long as you're open-minded, you're going to be more clear to understanding like what is the next goals for you. Maybe that might be completing in a marathon or triathlon or a Tough Mudder or something like that. Or maybe it might be like, hey, you want to help out others and improve on their health and fitness journey because health and fitness had such an impact in your life. Or maybe it's something so small like, you know, you really want to be that inspiration for your kids and, and, and lead by example. So that way they're following through and better eating habits and better training habits because they see the dedication and the hard work that you put in. That's it. You know, plain and simple. But in order to get to there, you first have to, you know, uh, just get rid of this ego. You, you got to be open minded. I'm telling you. I wasted a lot of money. I wasted a lot of time. And there was a lot of regret with, you know, missing on the opportunity to help out so many different people's lives because I had this ego thinking I could do it all on my own. I don't want you guys making the same mistake, especially with something as so simple as your health and fitness goals. Like that's the easiest thing in the world to improve on, honestly. But yet year after year, guys always make the same mistakes. Oh, I'm just going to cut out my carbs. I'm just going to cut out my sugar. I'm just going to, you know, avoid my favorite foods and, and you know, uh, cut out fast food. I'm just going to do endless amounts of cardio. I'm just going to do all this, you know, high rep, you know, lightweight stuff, workouts in the gym. And it's just, you know, it's just the same old song and dance. You'll see some weight, you know, drop in the beginning and then you regain it right back. And you got to take ownership. You got to take, you know, that this is your life. No one else is going to change it for you. And, And really have the different mindset of understanding like how you treat your body and how you do one thing is how you do everything. So start treating your body like if it's a Ferrari. Lamborghini, Bugatti, right? Maserati, anything like that. A nice sports car. You, you want to start giving your body proper fuel, right? You want to start making sure that you're taking care of your car. You're doing proper maintenance, right? Like you don't want to be just treating it like crap and focusing on intermittent fasting where you're not even putting in any food in the system, right? Food equals fuel here. And I'm really trying to make it known that you guys don't have to uh, fail at this anymore, You don't have to be a slave to the ego and it's just that ball and chain of those self-learning beliefs of the past. It doesn't matter if you're in your 40s, your 50s, your 60s. It's so easy to make a change. You're only one decision away, but sometimes that decision is the hardest decision to make. And sometimes that means just being a little bit open-minded, but you never know what's going to come, right? Like in the very beginning when I got started with, you know, Heartletics, I was very closed-minded. I tried to do everything on my own. And so I didn't see the vision long term because I put these these blinders in my own way, this fog, right, the smoke and dust, like in front where I couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I did that to myself. It wasn't until I was open minded to decide to take that risk where, hey, that smoke, that dust started to clear, and the vision started to be more a little bit realistic. Now. I'm not saying that every day is a walk in the park now just because I've been doing this for so long and, you know, the CEO. No. Remember, every day I'm still putting out fires. Every day, right, you and your health and fitness journey, guess what? Like, you're going to be dealing with some putting out some fires. You're going to be dealing with some adversity. Maybe that's stress. Maybe that's injuries. Maybe your kids get sick or maybe you get sick and maybe uh, you're traveling, whatever the case may be. And like, that's what makes this so much fun. That's why I love the game of life. Every day is different. There's no day that's exactly the same at all. It's very hard to plan for the future when you don't know what life is going to throw you kind of curveballs next. But here's the realization. Right, and I can say this confidently because hey, I have business coaches, I have mentors. I'm still, in, I'm always investing into different things that's going to improve on me and my mindset. It's a lot 
easier, right? When life throws you these curveballs my way, being a business owner, and I can go to my team, I can go to my support, I can go to my coaches and, you know, hey, guys, I need help. So much easier than if I was trying to do this before and do it all by myself because that led me to nothing but failure and having a big ego. So it's time that you cut ties with that ego. Just like what I had to do in business, you maybe need to do the same thing in terms of your health and fitness journey where you cut ties with that ego, where you stop being a slave to self limiting beliefs of the past and you really start living what you're destined to become. And that's the best version of yourself, not just physically looking good with your shirt off, but most importantly, mentally. And sometimes to become the best version of yourself mentally, you just got to be open-minded. So guys, take it from somebody that has been through it all, literally been through it all. Hey, don't make the same mistakes that I was making, right? And you're only one decision away from a completely different life. Guys, I really hope that you guys got some motivation and inspiration from today's story. If you did, definitely let me know. Uh, Maybe share this with a friend, share this with a family member, share this on your social media page. And with that being said, guys, this has been Coach Joe with the Heartletics Podcast, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out, Girl Scouts.